Well, here are some of the Apache tears that Joyce and I found out in Arizona. And we got quite a few of them. And some of them are a nice size, like this one here. This is an inch and a half. And we got some other big ones here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to tumble some of them. And I'm going to cut some in the slabs, small slabs, and try to make cabochons out of them. And you have to have a method to hold them in the vise on your slab saw. So what I'm going to use is this fixture I had my son make up for me. And it's a piece of aluminum flat bar, 5 8 by 2 inch, and it's 6 inches long. And he drilled and tapped several holes along the 6 inch part for quarter 20 bolts. And this is a bolt I'm going to use. This is a garage door bolt. And they use them at wood garage doors to bolt the hardware on. And it's got a nice flat head on it. And that's uh, better than a car carriage bolt you couldn't use because it's got a rounded head. And you take your rock, you put a drop of crazy glue on there and flatten out one surface of your rock and you can glue it right to it. Then hit it with some uh, accelerator. And it'll set up and I actually never had any come off, which just surprises me. I thought some would fall if anything would hold that good. And here's what it looks like. And the main thing you want to do is keep the same distance between your flat bar and the bolt head. So they all line up. So when you cut, you can get the most out of your cut. Now, if you don't want to do something like make that fixture up, you can take a block of two by four and use some five minute epoxy and glue your rock to the two by four. That's what I did with these piece, this piece of calcindy. I already cut some, you can see. And this works out, this works out just as good. But the other one's a lot quicker and a lot easier to use. And I think they're better for the Apache tiers. I can put quite a few of them on there and cut, cut a few of them. But anyway, let's get to cutting some uh, slabs. So they're in the saw. So the first thing I'll do is cut the ends off. So we can start off, have a flat surface on each side. So just get rid of that end. Then we'll set it and we'll cut like maybe a 3 16th a quarter inch slab. Most of the time you get maybe one or two out of it. That's about it. So let me put the hood on and we'll start up the saw. Now I've got the ends cut off, these Apache tiers. I'm going to set the saw up now, give it a couple turns on the vise, and uh, cut the little slabs. And you can see the blade right through that one. And this one's about, I guess, about a quarter inch thick. I don't make a neat cabochon.
five are coming up on the last one now. So we have four of them there. Well, here are some of those little slabs we cut from the Apache Tears. And they run about, they're about 3 16 thick. And what I'm going to do is make some cabochons out of them. And I might cut a few more so I have plenty to work with. So I'll get back when we cut the cabochons. Well, I cut this freeform cabochon out of that translucent slab that we cut out of the Apache Tears. And you see it's got these lines in it. I think they call that a cat's eye. I'm not sure. I'm, like I said, I'm no expert on any of this. But uh, it took a pretty good shine. I did the back a little bit. And I also put a pinch bail on it. All you do is draw a one millimeter hole at the top there and uh, get a pinch bail and pinch it on. Then you can wear it on a chain or a cord. Well, I did also did some Apache tears. I tumbled some Apache tears. And I'll go grab them and then you can see what they look like. Well, here are some of the Apache tears that I tumbled. And as you can see, they also took a pretty good shine. So if you enjoyed our videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.